Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, I just filmed a what's in my bag tag in case you see the makeup is still the same. I'm here with a little bit of a treat yourself kind of haul and I did this haul around the Black Friday time, um, like literally on Black Friday or a wee, uh, or what, two or three days after Black Friday and I wanted to share with you some of the things that I picked up. So there's not many things because it is a treat yourself kind of haul so some of the things actually a lot of the things apart from two things a lot of the things in here are considered quite pricey and I just wanted to share that with you because I haven't done a haul in quite a while I remember the last beauty thing that I did was a what was it what was it what was it it was a beauty collective review and yeah so since then i did purchase a couple of beauty items uh skincare items as well and i wanted to share those with you some of them i've already used even though they are still in the boxes i kept the boxes and i put them back in the boxes for the purpose of this video but only just to show you um what they look like or show you what to look out for when you buy them so let's get started let's get one into thing that i am using is the clinique ID. I have changed up my skincare routine a little bit uh, to adjust for the summertime. Obviously, you know, you change, you change things around every now and again. And recently I picked up that new uh, Clinique, you know, the one that comes in a, yeah, the Clinique um, Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. It comes with like a second uh, sort of tube that you insert into this one. Um, uh, I use the it's one for uh, hyperpigmentation and it has worked so so well on my skin i love it my skin has not looked as great as it does now something about my skin right now is just going yes sister and i'm attributing it to some of the things that i've been using recently and this is one of them you guys know that i've used this for years but since they came out with that new thing little tube that you mix in with the product itself and then you pop it out listen it's been doing the absolute most so yeah pick that one up and the other two skincare products that i am using currently and i put them back in the boxes so that you can see me whip them out but i have used them and you can actually see me using it in my mr price vlog as well using them in my mr price vlog as well are these two products from skin creamery skin creamery was initially um available at best beauty buys i think online store but now and even on their online store as well but now you can actually pick it up at Woolies which is amazing and I picked these up I think about two days after Black Friday and when I did that they had some like 20% off uh, special the prices on skin creamery are not that bad I really don't want to lie they're not that bad um, I picked up the skin creamery jojoba melon seed uh, baobab facial hydrating oil and i feel like this oil has been doing the absolute most to my skin even nosipo commented on my skin uh the day we left durban and came back to johannesburg she basically said to me wow your skin looks really really good and i feel like this these two products are one of the big reasons why my skin is looking as good as it is at the moment i love this oil i use it every single day without fail nighttime daytime love it absolutely absolutely love it this is a south african product so i am definitely very very impressed i don't even know why i'm putting it back in there but i'm very 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 impressed with this brand i am yo guys wow and then the next thing out that i picked up is the baobab malachite rose Too Face skin tonic so i use this as a toner um i really really love this it's a 50 milliliter and it's a tonic you shake the bottle well pump desired amount onto palm of your hand and or onto a cotton round so you can use it as a toner i use it as a toner pretty much shake it up uh it's got that oil that collects at the top and then uh more liquid you know another liquid below but i just shake it up and then i put it onto my hand and then i pat it into my skin i don't put it on a cotton round because i feel like it's it's wasteful when you do that um 
but onto my hand directly and then I pat it onto my skin and then I normally follow with the facial oil. Absolutely love this. I highly recommend these products. They are around the two, three hundred rand price mark. And honestly, for skincare, I really, really, I mean, these are the prices of Bioderma, La Roche-Posay. So honestly, honestly, if you buy those kinds of products, you can definitely buy this, these two, these two as well. Definitely buy them. And Woolies is always running that 20% off and whatever. So it works really, really well. And then uh, the next items, I finally, finally jumped onto Glam Glow. Now I'm that person who, Glam Glow has been around for a while now and I haven't been buying anything. I wanted I wanted um, that really well-known the mud mask from Glam Glow and then I thought mm, I've got so many masks at the moment like I can I, that one can wait. So I opted to go for these two products. The first one is a glow starter makeup setting spray and this one I've heard wonderful things about from YouTubers overseas and I've read reviews on this one so I've heard that this is a really really good setting spray and this is the first time I'm actually yanking it out of the what's up hell? Oh, it smells really, really nice. And we're going to do it now. Boom, roll. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I normally go all the way in with setting sprays. It smells amazing. It smells so good. Like, edible kind of good. Uh, but I've heard really, really great things about the setting spray. And I wanted to pick it up because I'm so religious to my MAC setting spray. And I want to be different, you know. Zama different things. So one of the big things that I want to start buying is setting sprays uh, going forward with beauty products. And I started with this one. And it smells amazing. I'm, I'm just... Mm. So the one thing that I'm really, really excited to try is this one. This is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. I tried it on my the palm of my hand in the shop and I thought, wow, if this is going to go underneath makeup, then your girl is going to glow from here like glow to the God okay and this is pretty much the packaging that's what it looks like it does have an illuminating finish so I feel like it just you know it seeps right through that's that's what it looks like that's what it looks like it seeps right through your um, um, foundation it just makes your skin sort of glow so that's what it oh my, oh my. <laughs> Also another Glam Glow product that I heard a lot about and I'm so excited. It comes in two different colors and I picked up the slightly darker one which is Sun Glow which I feel is better for women of color. So I picked up that one as well. Really, really great. Um, the last two products are also uh, also makeup products. Um, the first one is a Dior foundation. This is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. So obviously, I'm going to use it for my face. I ain't trying to put foundation on my body, sis. Okay? I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm. And it comes in a little cutie nana tube. That's what it looks like. It's just Dior. Simple. Kilabona. Not too much. Haina. Haina kung dang hain. Haina drama. It's just, it's simple. I picked it up at um, Edgar's. The only thing is, yeah, I'm not too crazy about this this kind of setup not too crazy about this and the i was really in between shades so i picked one that i feel is slightly slightly darker then yeah it's slightly darker but i'll definitely try this out um i will use like um lightning drops if i need to lighten it up a little bit but um the shade before this one was far too light and then this one was slightly darker so i opted to pick something slightly darker as opposed to the really really light one that one was a lot lighter and i i just no. and then the last thing last thing out is a palette that I've always wanted. Um, I am a fan of Urban Decay palettes. I've got two Urban Decay palettes and this is my third one. Um, uh, this is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And I just, honestly, this is one of the biggest attractions of this palette for me. This is why I fell in love with this palette from the jump. It is beautiful. Even just the cover, the, just, it, 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 beautiful, man. I mean, Agna Cape Town. 
on the, the the cover attracted me but there's no cape town here i mean there's las vegas i don't know there's las vegas there's greece there's la thailand san fran that looks like italy new york i'm gonna cape town la shame so this is the one Urban Decay palette that I've spotted that doesn't have a brush. I don't know. I mean, a lot of them, most of them do have space for a brush. So I found that very, very strange. But at the end of the day, we don't care. We wear makeup all the time. We've got a ton of brushes. So we're not worried about that. But the color palette was amazing. In fact, this is the palette that I've got on my eyes today. I literally used two colors because I've been very colorful in my last makeup looks. You know, that Jamaica Brazil one and then that colorful one that I did for the picnic. I really wanted to dim it down a little bit. I used pretty much um, Ignite ignite and baja which is here and really really pretty colors um uh, pigmentation with urban decay pro products is honestly really come on really pigmentation is a real thing all the time um, um and it's got a gigantic mirror as you can see you can see y'all's reflection it's got a gigantic mirror and it's just such a beautiful beautiful palette and that's pretty much it that's it. That's all I picked up for the treat yourself haul. In fact, I feel like if you ever buy a Starbucks cup, you're treating yourself because Starbucks cups are very expensive. Am I the only one who feels like, yo, my melon keep it like 300 rand for, for this. 300 to 400 rand, yeah. oh, sometimes 500. Starbucks is actually quite expensive, but I fell in love with this one and I got it just after Black Friday and I got it down from whatever price it was to 160 so i thought yes and i drink my tea from this and my voice is starting to do funny things again i hope you guys enjoyed this video and that's it for me i'm gonna go i have somewhere to be and i'm actually running late so i'm gonna go and i will see you guys in the next video take care stay blessed live in light and love subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one Bye, sayonara, sayonara.